Hey guys! In this short tutorial, we will cover how to create a mobile dashboard so you can take your data on the go and view it from anywhere, anytime. To get started, click the dashboard link located in the left hand menu. Once you are in the dashboard area, click the Manage Boards link. Continue by clicking the mobile icon at the top of the page. You are now presented with all available mobile boards in your company if you have any. To create a new one, press Add Board in the upper right hand corner. From here, you will be presented with a number of options. Firstly, the title of your board, which will be reflected on the mobile app. Next, team access. If you want to limit which teams can access the board, choose a subset of teams in this dropdown. If you intend to act, have no access limitations, leave it as is. For access level, choose what types of access rights you need to see the board. If you put the access level to users, only users without any admin rights will see the board in their mobile app. Lastly is the default period. Users will be able to alter the period that the widget sto shows statistics for in the mobile app, but the default period will define what period of time they will find stats for when they initially open the board. When you are finished, click create and you'll be redirected to the board's overview. Now that you've created your mobile dashboard, you are ready to add widgets. Start by clicking the green plus button in the top left hand corner of the board. Choose between one of our predefined widgets or configure all parts of the widget yourself. Our widgets come in two different main designs, KPIs and top lists. Choose KPI if you want to display a single number, budget progression, or similar for a combined set of entities. Choose top list if you want to compare the results of different users, teams, departments, products, or something else in a leaderboard. Next, ask yourself what you want the widget calculations to be based on. Do you want to display the average sales value, the quota progression, or just the number of sales? Choose the correct function for your needs. From here on, you can specify exactly what users, teams, departments, or other entities the widget should take into account. The one thing that separates mobile widgets from other widgets and slides is the default filter setting. The default filter for each widget will determine who the widget will show numbers for on the initial load of the mobile board. So once you determine this, your board and widgets are ready to go. To view, head over to the sales screen app Go to statistics in the menu bar and you will see all of your mobile boards and widgets. We hope this tutorial helped you get started with mobile dashboards and widgets. If you have further questions, feel free to send us a message and our customer support team will be happy to help.